What's up guys, welcome back to Rosie Wrestling. My name is Safe. And I'm Massa. And today it's another edition of Views from Rosie. And today we're gonna be talking about the latest episode of SmackDown. Uh, and with our usual three talking points, we are very close to WrestleMania. So definitely now we're in that nut cutting zone. Uh, but we're gonna start off with our first talking point, uh, which involves the United States Championship scene. Uh, so we saw Randy Orton team up with Bobby Roode going against Jinder Mahal and what was supposed to be Sunil Singh, uh, but he came out looking really injured. Uh, at the end, we kind of found out it was a phony. Yeah. Uh, from the beginning, it was pretty like self-explanatory. Yeah, he was. He looked pretty ridiculous. And he, at the live event that we went to uh, a few days ago on Sunday, he was just completely normal. And uh, stay tuned for that live event uh, vlog. That'll be up this Friday. Uh, but so Jinder replaced Sunil Singh with Rusev. Obviously, Rusev got a big pop. And uh, at this moment in time, Rusev didn't have a uh, match at WrestleMania. I just assumed he was going to be the in the Royal. Battle Royal. Uh, but later on, we find out what's going on there. They have the match, uh, Orton and Rude against Rusev and Jinder. What did you think of this match? Um, and what did you think of... Uh, Rusev getting the pin on the U.S. champion. So um, this match just really didn't do much for me. I thought it was a, it was decent. It wasn't g like great. I was just having trouble like keeping my eyes open. Like I don't know, this SmackDown really what didn't do much for me. But more on that later. Um, I think that it was good for Rusev to finally get the victory. You know, we haven't really seen him picking up victories lately, and you know he's definitely a big star and he's definitely really over. So it's nice to see. Him finally getting some, you know, a victory, and I think that it's good for him to be in the Fatal Four Way. But I just, I don't know if this is the perfect path for him. I just don't want to see him lose again. I don't want him to be there to take the pin, which I'm scared that they might just do. Yeah, I mean, well, before he even got added to the Fatal Four Way, Rusev and Jinder did have a promo, and Jinder was saying that uh, he wants Rusev uh, to be there when he wins the U.S. Championship. Uh, and Rusev said that he just pinned the U.S. champion, so he's going to ask Daniel Bryan to be added to the match. And he did eventually get added. Uh, yeah, I honestly think whatever match Rusev is in is at, at Mania, which obviously now we know is the U.S. championship match. I feel like he needs to win it uh, because really this feud really has, has been really lackluster and just might as well just give the fans what they want. And I also want to see Rusev Day turn face because they're so over. And just them being heels doesn't really work for me. Yeah, um, and if he was going to be in the battle royal, I wanted him to win that. But here, might as well just give it to him. Even though I feel like Jinder's been doing a lot of good stuff the past few weeks, I do think it makes the most sense for Rusev, uh, who honestly should even, down the line, should be in the WWE Championship scene. That's how over he is. Mm -hmm. uh, but we move on to the second talking point. And really, like we were really trying to find a second talking point because there really wasn't much going on in this SmackDown. Uh, but we decided to talk about Daniel Bryan, uh, and he decided to challenge uh, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn uh, at WrestleMania. He's going to team up with Shane McMahon. Now, I was kind of surprised that he uh, said that he's going to team up with Shane McMahon, because we obviously heard about Shane McMahon's injury, um, and I forgot what it was exactly, but... You know, it's pretty severe. Do you think Shane will be good for WrestleMania? I really don't think so. With all the articles I read, it's they said it was pretty severe. And even if he gets better at Mania time, he still has to have a surgery afterwards. So I just think for his health, I really don't know if I want to see him risk his health, you know, just for Mania. I think that there are other options. If he can't make it, I would love to see a Jericho maybe team up with Brian. Um, but yeah, I don't really, I don't really know if he's gonna be good. But if they already challenged it, I think that no. Let me start again. Well, if Brian said that he was gonna be okay, so maybe. But I don't think that they would make the match if they knew um, that Shane wouldn't be there. Yeah, obviously we know probably for sure next week. Uh, but yeah, obviously we talked about this off camera. I did bring up Jericho being a great mm -hmm. option. Uh, it just makes sense. He already has a um, history with Kevin Owens. Uh, and apparently he's going to be at WrestleMania anyways, like watching the event. Right. So might as well just have him do something. Uh, I know he said that he's only going to want to do something if it's a marquee match. And that is a marquee match, though. It is a marquee match. Uh, but yeah, Daniel Bryan, his delivery here was fantastic. And Daniel, just like, he's just the common man. And his promos have always been very convincing. Um, 
not like he said like he hasn't hasn't been super comfortable on the mic but uh in his last run at least and here uh he he's shown that he's one of the best talkers in the he business he also shows that he has a lot of passion and i think that if you have passion you got it all but also in the promo he does talk about how he doesn't like being general manager he doesn't like the blazers doesn't like the meetings so i'm thinking that after wrestlemania he's gonna you know hang up the blazer of general manager and who do you actually think will take the spot uh i really don't know i've only heard that hulk hogan might be the one uh which i think would be pretty cool obviously hogan there's a lot of different things you gotta uh, look into before giving him that spot uh but i feel like it would be cool to seeing uh i think it would be cool seeing hogan interacting with some of these yeah. uh uh current wrestlers uh but we'll just end up uh finding out after mania i do think it makes sense for brian to just become a superstar maybe not full-time but uh at least l let him you know relax from the whole general manager stick and just be a uh someone who wrestles on SmackDown and pay-per-views. Uh, but moving on to our last talking point, uh, which has to do with Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, he's going to be wrestling Shelton Benjamin uh, with AJ Styles in his corner and obviously Chad Gable in Shelton Benjamin's co corner. Earlier on in the night, they did have a segment where uh, Shinsuke did ask AJ to be uh, at his corner. Um, he said that I, he needed him and stuff like that. You kind of already thought already something's not right uh, but what do you think of this match before we get into the uh, post-match antics I think it was pretty decent I think it was a decent match you know I definitely love seeing Shelton Benjamin and Chad Gable I think they're both really talented and I definitely want to see more of them I think they're gonna probably be in the battle royal um, but you know not everyone's gonna have a spot at mania but I thought that Shinsuke having AJ in his corner I thought that was a cool added touch and also like the promo after the match, um, after Shinsuke picked up the victory, I realized, you know, I told you this before, his English has been getting better and he has really definitely been practicing. It's kind of getting me a little bit more excited because his delivery got me more excited, especially that, you know, we kind of see the fire lit underneath him. Um, but what did you think about after the match? What happened? Yeah, I mean, well, the match I thought was an intense affair. I thought I definitely enjoyed it. Definitely uh, match of the night. Well, but, uh... Yeah, after the match, I thought that um, it was a good idea uh, to have him just kind of belittle AJ a little bit. He said, I don't need you. Uh, this is this. He left, and I felt like uh, it was kind of flat. Like, at the end, it was just like, I thought it was a good promo from Shinsuke, but we're really just going to leave us on this. But when G Gable and Benjamin came and started attacking AJ, and then Shin came for the, vic uh, the uh, excuse me, the save, uh, I thought that was a good idea. And then when I saw him, you know, going for the Kinshasa, Right. I thought really I was really hyped for that. I really wanted to see Shin, uh, you know, take AJ's head off. But I felt like what they did was even better. Don't let them touch until Mania. And, uh, you know, he just stopped and kind of like touched his face. And like you said, like his English has improved, but some people don't really need the promo skills right. to be to show that they're extremely charismatic. And I think Shinsuke is one of those guys. Um, and just looking at some of the New Japan guys, like obviously we don't understand Japanese, right. <laughs> uh, but you could tell guys like Tetsuya Naito are charismatic as hell just by the way they present themselves and the way they move and their body language and their right. facials. And Shinsuke Nakamura has that. I mean, you could just see when he wrestles uh, that he, you know, he is a different wrestler for sure. But also I've been seeing some comparisons. You know, people were like, oh, on Raw you have um, the main event or, you know, the universal title scene with Roman and Brock killing each other and then you see on SmackDown they don't even touch and I like that I'm okay with them not touching and especially that I'm pretty sure that Shinsuke Nakamura would probably win the belt at Mania it's cool not to see him hurt AJ I kind of want to still see AJ strong and AJ still looks strong and I like how um, they're taking this but overall I thought this SmackDown was a lot like uh, this week's Raw a lot of whole lot of nothing I thought Shin and AJ was definitely the highlight which I felt like they needed that because they the build has really struggled uh, over the past few weeks you can definitely tell that the build um, especially for the WWE Championship is not really up there with the Universal Championship they're, but I think they're relying on how the just hyped people are for right. the match but yeah so tell us what you guys thought of Smackdown in the comment section below don't forget to like share and subscribe to Rosie Wrestling and we'll see you guys in the next video bye